Long Beach. Welcome back to GazetteSports.com. It's Mike. And Ryan. And we've got a barn burner for you here in Milliken v. Cabrillo, the Rams' 2010 homecoming. Milliken looking for that first league win here in the opening week of league play. Cabrillo looking for their first more league win since 2007. That's much, much longer. If you were a junior for the Jags, they haven't won a more league game since you've been in high school. And Derek Stewart there under center is actually a, a junior. He's kind of breaking all sorts of streaks. The first win this year, now trying to get the first league win, finds Donovan Cruz across the middle. The two of them really connected well all game. Whereas on the other side for Milliken, Christian Ibarra, the leading rusher, the leading passer, I, shoot, maybe if I looked it up, the leading receiver, he's going to go ahead and move them down the field and then score on this plunge to tie it up. They actually had nine unanswered points to not only tie it up, but actually then come back and take the lead right before halftime and all the homecoming festivities begin. And you know that it's homecoming because there's a white convertible Mustang driving around dirt track and a tiara. There's always a tiara at the football game. It's just the only night of year they get to show you. I don't know what you're talking about, but Cabrillo gets the ball back in the second half and looks to just pound the rock. They came out 11 straight runs at a halftime. It was it was AJ Luke's plan to wear the lines down. It really, really worked. Darren Johnson had just a great game and finds the score right here to take a lead that they'd never give up. Then, after adding a, a little insulation here with the 55-yard touchdown pass down the right sideline to Cruz, another connection between Stewart and Cruz. Cabrillo up by two scores. And getting getting some run really kind of takes the pressure off Derek, but Tempted. there it is. Four times the charm. Ibarra is going to go down the right sideline. And look at this catch. Dink. Remember, you only need one foot in high school. That that counts. Count it. Milliken trying to claw their way back in. They, they got it back within six. They had the ball. They really thought they were going to be able to do it, and it just didn't happen. The linebacker steps in the route. Cabrillo gets the ball back, and they know what to do with it. They kept running the ball. Johnson takes it in for his second score. This on the two-point conversion. Ooh, I'm going to limbo right there into it. A little Fosbury flop practice. Cabrillo hangs on for the 38-16 win. Party like it's 2007. Oh, Cabrillo hosts Compton next week. Milliken, a must win against Wilson. For all that and more, come right back to GazetteSports.com.